大家好，我是迪卡。Welcome back to the yoga. I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed our facing dog a lot. The practice of yoga isn't one-dimensional. It's not static. It's dynamic. So I'm going to offer you more variation of downward facing dog. You're going to get more mobility, flexibility, turn your arms, of course your core. You ready? You gonna love this. You gonna love it. Dika Yoga. Let's take a look for some tips first to reveal the downward facing dog. Make sure your hands and feet in the right position, and engage your core all the time. Lift your sit bone up towards the ceiling. So let's do it together. Come to all four. Make sure your hands shoulder width apart. And slowly push up to downward facing dog. Keep your shoulders down and back. So make sure there is no tension on your neck and draw your belly in. Try to stay here three to five breath, and we're going to transfer to high plank. Find a high plank here, so make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrist. Stay here for one breath and slowly push back to downward facing dog, and we're going to repeat this several times. So last round, coming back to downward facing dog. We're going to find three legs dog here, right leg lift up. So super important, make sure square hips so you have your right hip dropping down, outer left hip lifting up. Check this little screen here, show you how to rotate your hip down. Next is knee to nose. So we're going to squeeze your belly. Draw your core and knee towards nose. Hold it. Inhale. Extend your leg up. And bend your knee slowly. Bring your knee towards your nose, keeping your hips nice and tight, and your ribcage popping up towards the sky. And you travel all the way back to three legs dog. So after right side, swap side to left side. Nice and control. Try to repeat this several times. And if too intense for you, come back to child pose anytime. You can take a rest. Just listen to your body is the most important thing. Follow your breath. We move into another tricky pose here. Bring your knee to your nose without moving your upper body. So this is super intense in your core. You're going to feel your belly a lot. And try to repeat this also five times, ten times.
So next is dolphin pose. Make sure in the width of forearms by taking hold of opposite elbows and stay where the elbows are. Walk your feet towards your hands while lifting your hips high and keeping your legs straight. This is similar to how you come to downward facing dog position. Press your hands and forearms to keep your shoulder blades pushing your back down. Your legs gonna be straight or slightly bent to keeping your back flat. So next movement, start by lifting your head and shift your weight further forward before rocking it back to the heels. Repeat several times here. So dolphin pose is quite challenging. It's not only develop your arm strength and tone up your abdomen. If this movement feel too much for you and you feel an impingement to your shoulders, stay in a static dolphin pose. So next, drop your knees down to the mat. Untuck your toes, extend your arms, and rest for a moment on your heels. This is a child pose. And slowly push back down to downward facing dog. And we're going to find a twist here. Catch your left ankle with your right hand. If you're not able to reach your ankle, you can reach to your thigh or your cuff. And slowly switch side. Press firmly into your right hand and reach your right hip back. Look through your armpit and keep your spine straight. And always come back to down dog, one leg lift up, three leg dog. Slowly shift your body weight forward, come back to high plank, one leg lift, and slowly push back to three leg dog. And slowly come back to downward facing dog, bring your heels to your right side, find a twist, and to the left. Slowly switch around, shuffle around, you're going to feel your lower back, your belly, get a little bit stretching here, come to the ball of your feet, and slowly lift your hips up more, and breathe. And slowly walk back to your feet. Grab the backs of your feet with your hand and relax your shoulders, your neck. No tension there. Let go everything. Let your body sink. Take a moment here. You can grab opposite elbows or you can give yourself a big squeeze. Love yourself. And slowly come back to child pose, knees together. Tuck your chin in and slowly round your spine up. And hand palms together in front of your heart. Namaste. Well done everyone! Thank
how's your practicing? Tell me which is your favorite dog. Leave the comment below, and I would love to hear from your feedbacks and your opinions. And if you like it, you're watching, but even you're not doing with me, hit the thumbs up button, and please support me. Many thanks again for supporting me. Stay consistent, stay tuned, and stay home. I will see you on every Tuesday. Lots of love. 星期二见哦，下次星期二见。哎，你们怎么还坐在那边？赶快再看一次，跟着一起做。去晒太阳。你不是说你要 stay home 吗？你不是说你要 stay home？ 你为什么跑出去了？